Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to make the scratch project called Lost in Space. First you'll need a device capable of running Scratch 3 and second you'll need a Scratch account. Step 1. Adding your sprites. So this is the screen you should see when you first open the Scratch editor. To start this project, we're going to get rid of the sprite that is already on the screen. To do this, we're just going to click the delete button that's already there on the sprite. Next, we're going to have to add a new sprite. To do this, we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click the cat that has a little plus next to it. From there, we're going to select the magnifying glass to search for a new sprite. Then what we're going to search for is Earth. To do this, just click the search bar and type in Earth and we'll be able to select that. And then what we're going to search for is a rocket ship. Doing the same process, just go into the database of sprites again and search for rocket ship. Step two, animating your spaceship. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the costumes tab at the top left hand corner. We're going to draw a box around our rocket ship and then we're going to turn it on its side using the little blue arrows at the bottom. Just click and hold that and drag it onto its side and then we'll be able to reposition it so that the blue cross is in line with the centre of the sprite. From here we're going to go back into our code and we're going to start animating our rocket ship. So now we're going to go into our events tab and we're going to grab a when green button clicked block and drag that into our field. Then we're going to head into our motion tab and grab a point in direction block. Once this is connected to our already placed block, we're going to change it from 90 degrees to zero just by clicking that 90. Then we're going back into our motion section and we're going to grab a go to X and Y block. Then we're going to set these numbers to both be minus 150. To do this, again, you just click the numbers already there and then change it to what you would like. From here, we're going to go into our looks tab and we're going to grab a say block. So click the say for two seconds and click and drag that into our field. Now we're going to change hello to let's go. From here, we're going to head back into our motions tab and we're going to grab a point towards block. Right now, this will say point towards mouse pointer. However, we're going to change this. By clicking the drop down arrow, we're going to change it to say point towards earth. Then we're going to head back into our motions tab and grab a glide block. This will say glide one second to X and Y. After we've placed this, we're going to change it to say glide one second to x equals zero and y equals zero. And this will take us to the middle of the screen. Now we have to position our rocket ship and our earth. So we're going to place our rocket ship in the bottom left hand corner and place earth in the top right. Step three, test your code. So when you click the green button, you should be able to see your rocket ship say let's go and start to glide towards the earth. Step four, choosing a background. So to choose a background, we're gonna head down to the bottom right hand corner and go to the button across from our sprite selection where we'll add an image. From there, we'll click the magnifying glass again and this will allow us to see the background options. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go along the top hand bar and we're going to select space. From there we'll be able to see the backgrounds that are set in space and select stars. Once you've done that you'll be able to see your background pop up on your screen and it should look something like this. So here I have a little challenge for you. Can you make your spaceship touch earth? So pause this video and have a shot on your own and once you're done we'll have a look at the solution. Here's a little hint, you'll have to change a few numbers in your glide to block in your spaceship's code. 
I hope that wasn't too tricky, but let's have a look at the solution. So right now we have our glide two block set at x equals zero and y equals zero. Now I'm going to change it to x equals 55 and y equals 55. And when you click the green button, hopefully your spaceship will go to Earth. And as you can see, it started to touch Earth. Step five, using animation loops. So now we're gonna try use an animation loop. To do this, we're gonna to have to delete our guide block. Then we're gonna go into our control section and we're gonna grab a repeat 10 block. Click and drag that in and pop it below our point towards block. Then we're gonna change it from 10 to 200 then we'll go into our motion section and we're going to grab a move 10 steps. However, we're going to change this 10 to 2. So this means that it will repeat 200 times and move 2 steps each time. So now if we test our code, we should be able to see that it runs the same as before. Step 6. Making your spaceship change colour. So to do this, we have to add another block into our animation loop. We're going to go into our looks section and we're going to grab a change colour effect by 25. Click and drag that and drop it below the move two steps and this will make our rocket change its colour as it flies. So once we test our code, we can see that our message displays and then the rocket changes colour as it glides towards the Earth. Step 7. Getting smaller. So, to get our spaceship to get smaller as it heads towards the Earth, we're going to have to remove our code from our repeat block and then put the change colour block on top of our move two steps block. Then, we're going to head into Luke's and we're going to grab a change size by block and click and place that below our move two steps. Once we've done this, we're going to change it from 10 to negative 0.4. Once we've done that, we can just pop it back into our repeat block and then test our code again. So when you click the green button, you should see your message display. The ship should change colour and also start to get smaller as it moves towards the Earth. Step 8. Floating Monkey It's now time to add another sprite. So again, go down to the little cat and click the magnifying glass. And this time, we're going to search for a monkey. Once we've selected that, we should be able to see it on our screen. We're then going to head into the Costumes tab and we're gonna add a little space helmet onto the monkey. So to do this, head into costumes. So when we're in the editing field, we're gonna to go to the fill option and click the drop down arrow and select the red diagonal line. Next, we're gonna to go to outline and we're gonna select saturation to zero and brightness to 100. Then we're going to select the circle option, which will allow us to draw a nice even circle. And we're going to draw that around the monkey's head. So you can just draw the circle and then shape it how you'd like it to fit the monkey. So you can place it, you can rearrange it, adjust it, just until you're happy with how it looks. And once you've done this, we're going to head back into our code section and start writing some code for the monkey. So we're going to head into our events tab and click the when green button clicked. Click and drag that into our field. Then we're going to grab a forever block and this will be from the control section. After this, we're going to grab a turn clockwise block from the motion tab. I'm going to change it from 15 to one degree. So again, if we test our code, we should be able to see the monkey spinning around in a circle and also the rocket flying towards the earth. Step nine, flying rock. 
so before we start adding our next sprite, we're going to resize the monkey. So to do this, we'll just click the size below the stage and you can select it to any size you want, just so it's a little bit smaller and then position it on your screen wherever you like it. Then we're going to go choose another sprite and this time we're going to search for rock. Once that's been selected, we're going to start adding our code. So to begin with, we're going to go into events again and grab a when green button clicked. After that, we're going to head into motion. We're going to grab a point towards block and change it to earth. Then we're going to head into controls and grab a forever block. Back into motion and grab a move 10 steps block and change it to two. After this, we're going to grab a if on edge bounce from our motion category and then we'll test our code to see if the rock moves. So as you can see, the rock will go in random directions until it reaches an edge and then it will bounce off and change directions again. Now we're going to resize the rock just by doing the same thing as you did with the monkey. And again, you can have this any size you'd like. So again, just test your code, make sure everything's up and running and it's how you want it to look. Step 10, flashing a star. It's now time to add another sprite. This time we're going to search for a star. Once we've selected that, we're going to start adding our code. So again, we're going to head into our events tab and grab a when green button clicked. Then head into control and grab a forever block. Then we're going to grab a repeat 10 and put that in our forever block and change it to 20. Then head into looks and grab a change size by and put that to 2. Then we're going to grab another repeat block and pop it below that and then go in and grab another change size by and put that to negative 2 and that's our code. So when we test that we can see that our star starts to flash, it gets bigger and then smaller, we can see our rock floating around the screen, we can see our monkey turning in a circle and our rocket flying across the stage. Now we're going to add a second star. So just do the same process that you've done Apart from this time, we can just copy our code in from the first star. So click on the first star's profile, then click and drag the already placed code onto star number two, and that will copy it into the editing field. Here, you can change the number so it's a different size. You can keep it the same, whatever you'd like. And then you can just keep adding little characters and sprites to get the screen how you'd like it. So that's us reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope this helped.